My name is Mitch Marnie. I'm a Boonawang and Barkindji artist. I'm from Mildura, Victoria, where I was born, um, on Murray River country. And I'm currently based up in the Hunter Valley for the next couple of years as I have my first child and spend some time developing my art practice. And I'm Marie Clark, connected to the traditional lands of Muri Muri, Yori Yori, Bunurong and Wamba Wamba people. Mitch Marnie is my great nephew. And so I guess we've been working together for oh, many, many years. My practice is around passing on cultural knowledge and creative art practice. When Miles rang me to tell me about the Country Road NGV collaboration for this great exhibition and asked if I knew of a, an emerging artist that I could work with, you know, it was a no-brainer for me that I would select Mitch because I've been working with him for the last five years here in Melbourne. And because he's still growing and developing, and the works and projects are just yeah. getting bigger and bigger. It's just, yeah, it's fantastic to be able to work together, yeah. The work I'm doing for NGV Country Road is going to be representing my mother and my father's country. For me, I'm a Barkindji man. My country stretches in all the way from Menindee down to the Murray. And I'm a Bunurang man on my mother's side, which is all of the eastern side of the bay to Wilson's Prom. So for my father's country, I'm making a red gum canoe, which will have the riverine represented on it. I've spent some time actually making new connections in Barkindji country and meeting new people um, to make a red gum canoe. And, and then on my mother's side, I wanted to honour the possum skin cloak making because that comes from Ani Murray and it comes from mum and it comes from that side of the family. In both the simplest way and also the most deepest way, I think that for us as First Nations communities, everything is about country. I hope that visitors will take away from seeing these works that they themselves should get involved in understanding the country that they live on. They should get involved in caring for it in you know, the smallest ways possible. Just picking up a bit of rubbish, spending some time to understand why something is the way it is. Maybe thinking that instead of you know growing something that's introduced, grow something that's native to your region. Spend some time understanding what is good and what isn't good for your you know indigenous area. For him to have that opportunity so much sooner mm. is pretty incredible. It's amazing to see, and I can't wait to see not only Mitch, but the other sort of incredible young people that will be coming through. Yeah.